All right, you two model rocketeers, let's talk about uh, a little trick here I got from Tim Van Milligan at Apogee Components. I don't know if it's, it's his original idea or not, but that's where I got it from. When you're building a rocket with a slotted tube with the slots for the fins, and you assemble your motor mount, and you're going to install it, what you can do is glue on the forward ring with whatever shock cord device you're going to do, however you do it. Glue that on, but don't glue the back ring on, the aft ring on, just yet. You can drill some holes in your aft ring like I did with this and put some strings in there so that, I haven't done it on this ring yet, but what you do is you Glue that ring on, get your tube, smear your glue inside of there, you know, where this ring is ultimately going to fit. And then you slide your motor mount up in there, and you just gently put this aft ring in place, but you don't glue it. You just let that sit while the glue dries on the forward ring. And that's going to get your motor mount tube centered correctly. Once that glue is dry, you can pull that ring out with your strings and then you can go up in there and put epoxy fillets where the fin attaches to the motor mount tube. You can go all the way around and fillet all those. You can also install a rail button because you've got this ring is not in your way. So I installed that rail button and epoxied it. The, there's a nut in there, I epoxied the nut. So you can get access in there, get your fillets on your, where your fins mount to your motor mount tube, get your rail button in there, epoxy it. When that's all done and dry, then you can put your aft ring. And of course, when you put your aft ring, finally, you don't need the strings. You could leave them on there, I suppose, and then mount your ring. But that removable aft ring trick is really cool. It works really well so that you can get in there and put a rail button, put fillets where the fins attach to the motor mount tube. Get a really, really strong joint in there. Like I said, I didn't come up with that, but I got it from Apogee Components. That's a good trick. You should incorporate that into uh, anytime you're building a rocket that has slots with through-the-wall fins. And by the way, if you notice that the uh, screw is out on my rail button there, don't worry about that. What I'm going to do is put some red Loctite on the screw threads that's bearing mount Loctite. And then I'm going to screw this down very gently to take up the slack, but leave it just loose enough that the rail button can spin, but there's very little slack there at all radially. So I've taken out all the radial slack. The rail button's loose to spin. And then with the red Loctite, which is bearing grade Loctite, yeah, that screw's never going to come in or out. So I'm going to use Rocket Poxy to install this aft ring. I'm going to mix it up, weigh out the two parts on a gram scale here. So I got my Rocket Poxy mixed up. I'm going to put a little in there. I'll put some on the motor mount tube. And now I'll put the aft ring. 
I'm gonna leave the strings attached just in case I need to pop it out of there for some reason if I don't have it exactly lined up like I want. Okay. Get it even all the way around. That looks good. So that completes the motor mount assembly. And I'll just cut those strings off. And I'm done mounting the motor mount. I've got the, uh, and then I'll put a fillet in there. On this aft end of the aft ring, I'll put a fillet. But I've got my fins very strongly bound to the motor mount tube. Got my uh, button there. Everything's in good shape with this little trick. Now I'm going to use JB Weld plastic epoxy to attach the retainer onto the motor mount tube. So that's attached with the uh, plastic weld. I think that some people use, you know, um, model airplane cement for plastic model airplanes, but this stuff's made for plastic, so I used it. And I've used it on a couple other of these engine retainers, and it works fine. I used parchment paper to protect the uh, kitchen countertop. <laughs> 